Crowds lined up here all up and down the South Bank to watch the old City Hall annex be reduced to this, a void in the city skyline. Waiting and watching the downtown Jacksonville skyline. That's how these crowds on the South Bank spent Sunday morning ahead of the old City Hall annex implosion. I've been driving by it for so long and it's sort of a piece of Jacksonville going down. In a matter of seconds, the blast sent the 15 story building crumbling from the corner of East Bay Street where it sat for nearly six decades. The horns blew just like they said and in two minutes, boom, it was gone. Some who worked in the building say seeing it reduced to rubble is emotional. It was melancholy. You know, we had really already lost that as our city hall when we moved to to the uh, Hemming Plaza area. Others tell me the site was overwhelming, even more so than the implosion of JEA's cooling towers, which Action News Jack showed you in June. This was so much more dramatic. It's really great. Now everyone is looking ahead at what's next for the property and what it'll mean for the area as a whole. Restaurants and it can be an aquarium, it can be, but it needs to be something that makes people want to come down here. Jacksonville doesn't have to beg anymore. We're popular enough, known enough. While there are some differing ideas about what should fill that spot, all agree it's a valuable piece of property that's important to the future of downtown Jacksonville. Reporting on the South Bank, Beth Russo, Action News Jax.